What's going on world? It's your boy Big Chips here for video number two. I wanted to break this up a little bit because I know the first one was going so long and I want to try to keep this as fast as possible. So what I got on the screen right now is the actual blog post that I wrote. All right, so this is going to go up on the blog, ddtwakeupcall.com. So definitely, definitely check this out. But I want you to see kind of like the workflow of what I've got going on here. Uh, what we just talked about in the last video is what is marketing and remember marketing is just communicating the value of a product or service in order to get a sale right so that your end result is to get that sale to get that customer that client whatever the case may be and we kind of talked about briefly you know the the four P's of going for your product going the place the pr uh, promotion the price and then that fifth one which is people that perfect avatar finding out who your perfect customer is and that's where those questions that I posted in the last blog which I'll link to is important because it helps you to figure out and identify your brand and that's basically what we're doing is we're 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 all about our company okay I'm all about my company but I'm more about my brand I want people to know me all right, now I want them to know, like, and trust me. The products can be purchased anywhere, but the fact that it's me selling it means they're buying into me. So I want to be the, the best leader that I can be for them. So marketing and how do you do it? This is still marketing 101. So maybe, a, you know, past some of you guys, and then it may be right on point of what you need or somebody new coming in to understand a little bit of the concepts here. So we're on the home stretch here, all right? We are we are crushing through this real fast. I'm gonna try to make this short and quick for you so you understand. I wanna, I'm putting this blog post up there again just so you can kind of see where we're going with this content, how I flow with things. I like to write these things out a little bit and then as I scroll down a little bit, let me, well, let me scroll. You can see kind of what we're doing, but in this video, in this training I want you to understand the different parts of marketing because you hear people say it all the time but I want I want to show you and explain to you and this is key into anything you do is to understand the major four okay <laughs> marketing modalities all right you have search marketing so these are using search engines so you're wanting to do SEO rankings you're wanting to do you're running maybe PPC ads, you're running PPV, you're just doing some kind of paid advertising. All right, they all can go into the search marketing. All right, then you have social marketing. That is the biggest of all of them right now because social distribution is like the biggest thing and Wake Up Now has become the first social distribution network. So we're paving the way for what this industry is going to become. I'm telling you right now, I've said it for a while, social marketing is going to be the biggest thing since sliced bread because that's how people build these large businesses is offline where people can get to know you and they learn to trust you and all this stuff and social marketing, that's what you're doing. It's offline marketing in the online realm. So it's, it's unbelievable. Content marketing. What I'm doing right here with a video, that is the perfect case in point for a content video. Do it once, let it play for thousands of people. Watch this and be like, yeah, what's up, dude? I'm gonna be like, what's up, man? So it's important because it's things that can work for you when you're not working. All right, so when I'm out with the fam, when I'm out driving to pick a kid up or drop somebody, maybe in. Now, this is important. This is based, this is really, really offline marketing but i include email in this different kind of groups people as you're talking to folks you've got to understand that no matter what you choose you you need to be hybrid all right whatever your main modality is that you personally choose all of these are going to go hand in hand and I can't say one's more important than the other, but I'm going to. <laughs> you know, it is my opinion, but relationship marketing, that relational to just getting with somebody and connecting, that's where the money is. So if you want the real money, you want to take your business to that next level, that's what you want to do. 
Now in the bottom half of this blog, I'm going to put the actual four sections so that you can see this. And the four that I see as most important on content marketing is blogging. So the first four that I put on here is what the ones that I really, this is how I focus. And I want to recommend that you do this as well because it's all the same really, but you know, blogging is important because again it's content that's working for you so you're falling into content marketing but here here's the good thing on mine when I talk about content marketing I'm also doing videos right oh no I'll come get it here in a minute you protect it make sure you watch it so blogging is important and it, it, it's just there, always, always working for you, always out there giving information. And that's key when it comes down to it. So content marketing is important and that's where I start. I wanna put my content out and I wanna make sure that it's there. Next, I'm gonna do SEO, okay? Now, this is my search engine, mar my search marketing. I want people to be able to search for me now I will run ads. I will do different kind of click through ads. I'll do different banners and all this stuff. I'll do that. But my main search marketing is SEO. I want my blog to rank and I want people to find it faster for the keywords that I'm search that they would be searching for, right? So I use this to get the targeted audience that I want for that certain post or that video. And again, YouTube is the biggest, biggest thing you could use is making sure that your stuff is on Google Plus, on YouTube, and on your blog, the trifecta, all right? Facebook doesn't rank you. I hate to tell you, it doesn't rank you. There's nothing in there that will back. Everything's a not, no follow, so there's no hope of ever ranking for it. There are so many different modalities you can use when it comes to traffic. But I want you to understand that none are more important than a social presence. All right, now I want you to understand here, before we get down to number four, we're starting with content. All right, we're taking this content and we're putting it online, we're putting it where people can find it. Next, we're putting stuff in there to help people find it. Keywords, tags, different alt text, different headlines. The keyword optimization is very very vital to your business all right now it's also content Google's algorithm has changed and changes every single year every single month it seems like there's something new coming out where they look for different stuff so value is what you're after give people value give them something that makes sense and the search engines will find you faster okay then syndication we want to syndicate our information to, out to the world so there's different platforms you can use for that there's different apps that you can use for that, but you can just run through manually through social medias and put it out there to the people. Forums, all right, those are another good thing. If you've got somebody that's going, you're just looking for a pipeline, right? Your, your content is the hub, it's the main tank, main gas, and you've got to fill all these different pipelines full of gas so they can actually use gas to sell to their customers so you're filling their pipelines with the information all right and it all comes down to the last and final four relationships relationships are vital don't just be selling but be telling right you don't want to always just sell somebody because customers are key if you don't have customers you don't have a business if you don't have business partners you don't have a business if you don't have clients you don't have a business if you don't have content you don't have a business but if you do not build relationships everything you did up here is all for naught I spent so many years just grinding and grinding and grinding and grinding just slaving away working my butt off at this business and I could never break through I did all the blogging I did videos I did SEO stuff I did all that and it did not matter because I wasn't getting the traction that I needed I wasn't getting the support that I needed my upline wasn't helping me all this garbage I blamed owners I blamed 
you know, companies. I blamed comp plans. I blamed everything other than myself. And I'm telling you, when you realize that this business is not a get-rich-quick scheme, it's a business, and you build it like a business, how to build, think about this, how do businesses in your area last? Not the Walmarts, not the big conglomerates, but these small shops and these restaurants, how do they stay afloat when there's so many chains out there that are cheaper? They build relationships they make it meaningful my nose is itching that's how you succeed build a business by building relationships so that's it today I'm gonna be under under 15 minutes so that's a woo so hope you got a little bit of value if you did, comment, rate, and subscribe this. I guess rate would be liking now. I always got that in my mind. But comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and check out the blog post at ddtwakeupcall.com. It will be there under uh, probably marketing and how to do it. Okay, I think that's what I named the, the post. So check it out. I'll have that available uh, probably tomorrow sometime and or today if you're watching it today. Either way. It will be there. All right. So it's your boy Big Chips here with CreatingSimpleFreedom.com. We are changing the world. We are changing lives. We are dictating what our futures are going to be, all with the power of a decision. So I hope you make the decision today that even if you're not in our company, that you join. Just do it. Just do it. Why not? But. You know, if it's not, if it's your company, that you make that decision to go all in, that you value what you see enough that you put all of you into it. All right? Make it a great day. I dare you.